Ah, oh, recording ambisonic sounds is one thing, but editing field recordings later in post is a little bit more difficult. And I want to show you in this video my workflow how I edit these ambisonic field recordings. So now let's hop in the car, drive home, and we see you back on the computer. One of the main reasons why I do this video is I don't want that you in the same position that I am looking hours and hours and hours trying to find videos how to edit these ambisonic field recordings. So then I figured it out on myself. Yes, there are videos about ambisonic, VR, spatial audio, but nothing really goes into the editing process. So I hope that you find this video helpful when I show you my workflow, how I get around using Audition and Repo. And I also wanna tell you, während, that's German, during the process, why I do the things the way I do. So I really hope you find this video helpful. So let's get into the editing process. We are in Audition and I want to show you first what I do in Audition and what I can't do in Audition. You see we have a four channel ambisonic sound recording here and recorded on the Zoom F6 uh, in MBX and also the position of the microphone is upright. You can see this in the metadata and if you're interested in how you can find metadata and how you can set up your Zoom F6. We made a quick short that you can check out here. But now listen to my favorite recording that I did uh, in Aspen, Colorado, and it's a truck. And just how everything sounds like, it's just so, in my opinion, beautiful. Just listen to this really quick. That's what a beautiful sound. Just this, but what happened afterwards is even better. First off, he came out of the truck and then he said this. Huh? Hey, hi. You hear how he said, how are you doing? And I said, hey, hi. So you don't want to have this in the recording, right? And that's what I wanted to show you later, really quick, how we can cut this out. Because this is the problem that I have with um, audition. What we can do is if I cut this part right here, you know, we can merge it together. But the problem is now if I click on multi track and I want to mix the session to a new file, then this happens. Boom, we have a stereo file. We don't have this ambisonic, it's gone. But that's why I say at every end of the video, uh, sorry, at the end of every of my sound recording, I say with interruption or without interruption. For example, if I don't have an interruption, let's say, okay, we keep this part because we can do this. I can just select this part and then I click on my cue so that I only have these sounds. Now in my next field here, I can start selecting these tracks and say, all right, let's listening to this part really quick again. And now if I say, mm, I don't like that uh, track two is a little lower, then I can just deselect track one, three, <clears throat> and four. And then I can just match this. Then I fade in and I fade out. And then what I can do is now I can export the track. But what is if I say, ah, I wanna, I wanna um, clean up the audio a little bit. I have a preset and it's called clean up. And that's just a denoiser that I always use. And then I have the F FT filter. But I don't really use this a lot, only if there's a little bit too much noise or too much wind. But this is all up to you if you want to use these kind of VST plugins. You probably have others. You can use any kind of plugins within Audition to clean this up. But just give you a little bit of an example how that would look like if we would use my um, denoiser and the FFT filter before. This is before, you hear this, this rumble. 
and now the rumble is gone. But in this kind of recordings I wouldn't do that because I want to keep this as clean and as massive as possible because a sound engineer later can decide if he, want, if he wants or she wants to use that or not. But this is how I edit my sounds in Audition. But what is if we don't want to have this part in here, right? In Audition I can't do it. That's when Reaper comes into the play. But I also want to just listen to this really quick when, when he came out of the truck. Beautiful sound. All this like industrial sound that I would have never expected to get in Aspen. I was able to record this. And you can find these sounds already within our VR sound library or all in one bundle. So if you work with VR sounds and you want this sound and many others, feel free to check it out. But now let's head over to Reaper and then I show you how I can cut this out, merge these files together and export as an ambisonic file. So let's do this. And now we are here in Reaper and as I mentioned before in Audition, if I find at the end of the file without interruption, then I would do the whole process that I showed you in Audition without Reaper. But since I know I have an interruption here that I need to cut out, another way is if you record traffic sound and there's a car pass by with music, just do a little clap and then later on you know that, you do a note. But if you record 30, 40, 50 files in one day, it's for me it works better if I have always at the end or in the beginning something spoken so that I know what's going on with this recording. So what is the interruption in this recording? I said when he really quick talked to me, hey, how are you doing? So let's zoom in a little quick and find this part. That's the part that we don't want. So what we have is we click on S and then we just merge this together. And let's say, you know, there's something else we don't want. Let's see, for example, this part. It's a great door sound. So you can actually just export this alone and then you have a truck door sound effect, what is great. But let's say we don't want this either. Then we just do exactly the same we do a little cut and then we merge it together. Also, maybe we don't need the whole beginning of the recordings, so then we just take this out. Also here in Repo, we can fade in and we can fade out. So this is really nice. Now we select all these tracks and what we're doing is we click on File and then on Render. And here in Render, it's important that the sources selected track stems because I, I found out that if I select master track it only exports and renders two channel out of four so I, f I felt like this is the way to do it but you're probably a Reaper specialist if you have any other ideas or suggestion please leave it me down in the comments that would is very much appreciate not just for me but also for others who like to read comments. So the sample rate is I recorded these files in 96, 32 bit, and we can select this right here. This is already important is that channels is four. So we can also include our metadata, but I write metadata later in Soundly or in Audition. I found out that actually the metadata that is provided by Zoom on the Zoom F6 recorder is still not available within Reba after the export is completely clean. So also again, if you have an idea how I can still find this, let me know. Now let's click on render. We render this to documents Reba Media. Okay, so now let's render it out. File already exists because I already rendered one out. So let's overwrite this. There you go. Now we have it. And this is how you render out your ambisonic field recording. But just to double check, let's bring this file back into Audition. And as you can see, I already brought back the file here in Audition. And then I can just do exactly what I showed you before in the beginning of the video. Uh, so I'm not going to show you this again, but 
if you want and you have a first order microphone, you can also check out the Rode plugin, the sound field. And it's actually free. So later on, if you want to recreate your B format, let's say into stereo or mono 5.1, then you can use this free plugin. And I do this because most of my recordings are released on Bandcamp in stereo. So feel free to check it out. And all my VR sound libraries are either in the VR sound library on my main website or within the all-in-one bundle. And always remember when you pay once you have access to all future uploads. So I really hope you find this video helpful and I hope to see you in our next video. Also feel free to subscribe to our channel because we make way more videos about traveling the world and field recording. So I see you in our next video.